Okay, this is a Whirlpool fridge. This is a piece of plastic on top of the door. This is metal. And the hinge pivots inside the plastic there. So all the weight of the fridge is carried at the bottom plastic. And this is the top that pivots here. Okay. Now on this door, this plastic is broken away here. That's from swinging the door open too far, then they tend to snap off. This is the fridge door and um, this is metal but this is the bottom of the door, it's upside down now but this plastic is broken out and that is where the hinge pivots in so this door actually fell off the fridge. Now you cannot get a new door or a new plastic bit here but I'll show you how I repair this to make it strong enough to carry the door and all the weight they're going to put in it. This is the steel I buy it in long lengths. It's a piece of flat mild steel. It's about three millimeters thick, which we're going to put onto the side of the door with pop rivets. But I'm going to give it a bend here and then make a little hole where the hinge fits into. And once this is attached here, this will carry the weight of the door. So I'm just going to go bend this. And now I've bent this piece of steel, I just gave it a, a 90 degree bend, I put it in a vise and just knocked it with a hammer. Now this bit we're going to attach to the side and this to the top. But this door has got a curve here and this is straight here. So what I'll do is I'll cut a little slot in and just give this a curve as well. So it fits better onto the door. So I'm just going to do that quickly. I measured it in the door. Okay, I measured it against the door, and this curve matches quite nicely in the curve with the door. Um, so now I'm going to neaten this up. This has got sharp corners, so I'll just grind that, file that sharp, and then um, we're going to drill a few holes in where we're going to put the rivets, but we're going to have to measure exact where we're going to put the hole. But I'll first clean this up. Okay. Of the little three little holes here and two here which we're going to attach it on and I've cleaned all the rough edges on a belt sander uh, but we're going to paint this before we put it on but we just need to mark the hole for the the hinge to fit through so but if I put it on there's still a little piece of plastic here which the little piece of plastic pushes it away from the wall so I'll just take a little blade and I'm just going to cut this plastic off just so that this gets closer to the metal and we're going to attach it there. So I'll just cut it off with a blade like this. I've cut this piece of plastic away from here now. So when I put this on here, the metal touches nicely. This bend is not quite 90 degrees, I can bend it a bit further. But the rest of it looks nice. So I think before I mark it, I'm just going to give this... I'm going to bend this a little further to get it to 90 degrees. I put it in a vise and just knocked it a bit with a hammer. But this seems to fit quite well here. The bend is 90 degrees. Okay, now the this had a little square in where a little grommet fitted in here. So the middle of the hole is about there, but we got to get it pretty accurate, otherwise the, line, the alignment will be out on the door. So what I do first is I'll take the middle of that square which is there, I'll put it there and I'll just make a little mark on the metal, which is this line, and then I've got to go this way, but this is the awkward one because you can't see where it is. So we just hold it there, slot it in position, 
and make a mark. So if my calculation is right, that little spot will be. But now also, you can move this around. So we got to get it that flush with that, that, and we just double check, and we're a little bit out. So let's go up a little bit. So we there, take this away, maybe a little bit more. So that third line, perfect. So I'm going to drill a little hole there, and normally the shaft is about seven millimeters. Okay, this is now the completed bracket. I've drilled a seven millimeter hole for the end. Put it on there, that fits nicely. And this hole is exactly where the existing one was. So before we put this on, I'm going to take this outside and just spray it with a can, spray it white, so it blends in a bit better with the door. Okay, while the paint dries on the other bracket I made, this is the other side of the door. This side's also broken off, so I've made a similar bracket also with a curve in it. Um, but this one has got an insert in the door here. So I've just chopped the corner off here to fit on the insert like that. Um, and I've also cut the plastic like that. So this still needs a little bit of work, a little bit of neatening. But I custom make each bracket for each door. So I'm going to file this one a bit better to so it fits and drill the holes while the paint dries on the other one. Uh, this is the two brackets after I've painted it. I didn't paint behind it. Um, and now we're going to drill a few holes and put pop rivets in. Okay, the bracket is riveted on there. Um, and yeah, you can see the the seam where I cut the plastic where the metal begins and the plastic ends and that's onto the door with rivets and um, that will be strong enough and if we look at the bottom of the door that's the bracket on with rivets there's a big hole where the plastic broke out can fill that up with some filler but the strength is there.